Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy. It's um, Ultimate Gamer here today, and I'm going to show you guys how to speed up your Xbox One. So, um, and that includes like cleaning out your junk and everything on your Xbox. So, first thing you want to do is you want to go to your settings. I think it's asking me for my password. Because I was on here a second ago. Change my background. Yeah. So don't worry about that. That was just. That's just because I was on there a second ago. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go over to your settings and you want to go over to power mode and startup. And you want to change that power mode and startup to energy saving after one hour of act inactivity okay. then you want to go ahead and make your way over to the stored section and system and then um, basically pretty much anything you do here you can uh, make space on your Xbox, like clear local X local save data. That's pretty much like save games. Um, local Xbox three, Xbox three hundred and sixty storage. That includes like anything transferred over from your Xbox three hundred and sixty or Xbox account when you had an Xbox three hundred and sixty. And then they got this option: make more space. So you want to go and click on make more space. And then you want to. See, it has the option for leftover add-ons and shrinkable games. Which right now I don't got no shrinkable games because I I'm pretty much I'm pretty sure I done shrunk all the games I can shrink. So you want to go over oh, you want to go over to leftover add-ons and you want to uninstall all these, and this will clear up a lot of space. Now, see for me, I actually still had these games. I'm not sure how they got in leftover add-ons. But um, I'm actually going to keep these, so I'm not going to do nothing. But normally you would just hit the uninstall all button and you'll be good. It'll clear all of them. And now, um, as you can see, well, you can see my internal and external drive right here. Um, you want to click on either internal or external. The, um, the external is if you have an external hard drive. You want to click on the external hard drive. See, for me, I'm running external and internal, and both of mine are completely full. So, what you want to do to free up space is you want to go ahead and uninstall. Click the button that says click on it, and then click uninstall things. Okay, so I'm already seeing a couple games I'm not probably not going to play, so I'm going to uninstall them. Some of these games I installed that I'm probably most likely not even going to play. I don't know what the fuck that is, but I'm not going to. So that just saved me how much space? 344 kb. Wait, no, that ain't right. Okay, yeah. I don't know why it's saying it. it's more than that, but I'm gonna uninstall them. And as you can see, it saved me, um, like one mega or like one gigabyte that's pretty much it because i wasn't trying to uninstall anything off mine but yeah basically that's how you uninstall and free up space um now i also want to show you guys another method to to making your xbox go a lot faster and to speed it up and so what you want to do for this next method is you want to go ahead and you want to go on the Xbox store and on here you want to go ahead and type in file manager 
and I am gonna be making a lot of videos that's that includes the file manager in it so I'm gonna show you guys what it is and how it works let's just hope they didn't remove it okay so it's not file manager it's called my files explorer that's what you want to download So you want to click on My Files Explorer and you want to go and click on Download. Now it's not saying download for me because I've obviously I already got it downloaded. So I'm just going to go and launch the app. I know y'all are probably thinking, it's 2020 and this fucking dude still doesn't have a fucking recording device. I know, it's crazy. As long as I've been on YouTube, I've not yet got an actual recording device. I mean, I got my camera, my phone, but I do not have like an actual PBR and all that. But, um, okay. So once you have this open, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of stuff on here. But, um, um, what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and... Well, you want to go ahead and, well, first thing you want to do is you want to download that app, and now you want to go ahead and go on your internet browser. Sorry it took me a second to remember what remember what you're supposed to do. Then you want to go to Google, and you want to go ahead and search, and you want to type in download Superb Game Booster. Okay, and then once you type it that in, this is what you're gonna come up with. It's gonna you're gonna click on it. And it's gonna take you to this website. So if it go back, you see download sup superb game booster download. Okay, well let's just get into it already. Um, but you want to go and click download now. And it's going to pop this up, and you want to go ahead and hit save as. And there's a reason why you don't want to hit save, and you want to hit save as, because when you hit save as, it's going to make it to where you can select where you want to save it or download it to. So that's why you want to do that. So, um, I'm just going to save it to my downloads. running security scan okay now once it gets done downloading you do not want to open it see it says run I mean you can open it but actually yeah when, once it gets done downloading you want to go ahead and run it so you want to go ahead and click this button hit and run and it's gonna pop this up search for app in the store now what you want to do is you just want to hit yes and then you want to hit a home button real quick Okay, now once you do that, you want to go ahead and you'll see the store is open. You want to go ahead and click on it, hit the star button, and hit quit. Now you want to open My Files Explorer again. And as you can see, it's already going a lot faster. But this is the next step. You want to, I'm actually going to go to my folder where I have my stuff at. And oh, this ain't it. I created all these directories myself. I didn't download none of these offline. Well, some a lot of the stuff I did, but a lot of the stuff I also made. A lot of these hacks and whatnot. We're gonna get into the hacks and everything in the next video on how to hack your games, how to do aimbot, how to do pretty much anything through here on the Xbox One. Yes, I know it's crazy. Xbox One already has hacks, on it, but um. So what you want to go do once you get that superb game booster downloaded? As you can see, it is right here. I'm going to go and zoom on it for you. Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and... You want to hit Y. And then you want to go ahead and click on Rename. And see Superb Game Booster. You want to change .exe. What yours should say .exe. 
once you get it downloaded, you just want to change that to CMD. Click on it. Now, um, once you do that, now this is where we're going to actually get into um, speeding it up and whatnot. The next process is going to be cleaning it, cleaning your Xbox One, like cleaning the junk out of it. Okay, so you want to double click on it, click the home, the home button. Now you want to go ahead and refresh. With it still being open, you want to go ahead and refresh. I know my uh, focus on my camera is not doing too good today. It's not. So um, now from here, um, all you want to go ahead and do is you want to close out everything except the store because you want to have the store open, which is basically what you're using to speed up your Xbox now, right now. So you want to go ahead and hit the restart button. And just for the heads up, quick tip, I did not find any of these methods online. All this stuff I actually figured out myself and I created these hacks. I created all these hacks and um, different features you can use on the Xbox One. I didn't have no hope I didn't have no help from everybody or anybody. I did all this by myself. So um I figured out how to use actually launch apps and all that on your Xbox One in the background. Basically by clicking on it and you click click um click on the app and then you click the home button real quick and it'll still be loaded up. Yeah. As you can see it's restarting the console and it shouldn't take long at all to restart it. So once this restarts, the next step we're going to be getting into is how to clean the junk out of your Xbox One. I'm so excited to show you guys this. Man, I've, I've, I've been off YouTube for so long. I, I've i been off YouTube for so long just dealing with stuff and coping and um, just basically getting my life together. And I'm still in the process of doing that. Definitely still in the process of doing that. But, um, yeah, I'm excited to bring you guys this content and show you guys what I've actually found and what I'm capable of towards hacking. I mean, I've done found so many different methods, and I created so many different methods on how to hack your Xbox and run all these different hacks and mods. But, um, it's finally loaded up. As you can see, it loaded up really quick. I mean, instantly. So, next, what you want to do is you want to you want to open My Files Explorer. Okay, so the next step in this process is you want to go, well, I'm going to go and pop this up real quick. Where's that? Okay, so, where the fuck is it? Oh, here it is. So. I got the command file right here, cleanjunk.command. I already got it made up. So the next thing what you want to do is you want to create a text file. Just so you want to like click, like scroll over here and uh, hit the start button and then hit new file and then 
just type uh, name it pretty much whatever you want and then just put so I'm just gonna you know just this is this is just an example right here and you want to name it dot txt which is the text file so once you do that you want to go ahead and copy this you want to copy this line that I'm about to give you go on you can go and pause the video once I open this up and you can put it into your text file and then just go and save it so this is what you want to put on there and the, this is what you want to type into the text file so just go ahead and pause it right now and type this in and then once you once you go and pause it and type that in you want to go ahead and save it and save the file Focus City on this camera today, and it'll save the file just like that. Now, once you clean, once you um, type that in, you want to come over here and rename it to dot cmd again. Then you want to go and open it up, click the home button, and click. Um, refresh and then from here you just want to go ahead and restart your console I'll wipe my camera off real quick because it's kind of dirty or some shit. It's not. Now I'll wait on it to load back up. It's going to boot back up. Shouldn't take long at all. Yeah, I'm thinking the reason why the quality ain't so good or whatnot is because something's wrong with my camera. I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's yeah, it's not looking too good today. We're going to wait on it to load up. Um, also, while, while this is loading, I'm going to let you guys know in my next video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make it to where you can play your Xbox One disc, how to fix the problem to where your Xbox will not let you play disc. It, it won't read the disc. I'm going to show you guys how to fix that problem in the next video coming up. And... I'm I'm most likely going to be uploading that video later on today. Sometime later on today. If not today, it'll be up by midnight for sure. So, um, yep. That's basically all there is for this video. Um, if you guys like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you're interested in this kind type of content. And share the video with your friends. Um, yeah. That's all for this video, though. I hope you guys enjoyed, and stay tuned. Peace.